How's it going, Taggers? It's me, and welcome back. Right, so today we're going to talk about two things. The first one is DPM, and the second one is um, why tier 10 TDs are so OP, and why the Death Star might be the king of DPM. So we all know what DPM is. Um, let's talk about a Russian tier 10 medium tank first. 10, 11 rounds a minute. But what that means is, 10, 11 times you have to get that tank in a position to be able to shoot that gun to achieve that DPM. That means 10 or 11 times you can be shot back, as long as you're spotted, of course. And uh, if you do get spotted, that's 10 or 11 chances artillery have got to shoot back. Whereas with the Death Star, just over two rounds a minute. That means you only have to get this tank into a position to hit someone twice a minute. And I think that, for me, is why they're a bit more OP. Because, you know... A Anybody can get their tank in a position to fire twice a minute, a bit like me here. Right, so start the clock. We've just gone past a minute of the game, gone. First kill down. One of those new Legion 59 pattern thing, me jiggies. 1400 hit points. So, uh, yeah, we started the clock at 14 minutes. And I'm on the reload. Sitting back. Again, with a Russian medium tank. I would have had to have poked this bush a gazillion times and fired a shitload of times to try and match up that 1400 damage I've already done and then with the Jaeger rune I've penned again so I've done enough damage now um, for about well, probably 10 rounds from a 140 or a 62A or something like that and I've fired two shots and I've only poked this bush twice and I've only had to spot targets twice yeah can you see where I'm what I'm trying to get at now fellas um, there's DPM and then there's, there's effective DPM I know some of you are going to argue we're going to see a splash. Only 600 damage, I think. But still, I'm going to rack up some crazy damage. Yeah, where was I going? Mm, yeah. Tier 10 Russian mediums. You see people do some huge amounts of damage, but it takes a very, very skilled player to get that tank in a position where you can repeatedly pull the trigger and let a round go. Whereas with the Death Star, a couple of times a minute, high up a shot, decent pen with the Hesh rounds. And um, with the extra damage of the Hesh rounds as well, your DPM is up there. So in terms of effective DPM, I think the Death Star is probably one of the highest. Can you see what I'm trying to get at? I know some of you are going to argue against it. Um, but for me, yeah. Death Star. Oh, I know I play a little bit too much, but I'm trying to get that third mark. I've got two. I'm not going down, but I'm not going up very far fast. Another splash, that was only just over 400 on the mouse turret. He may have had a spool liner there. I would expect a bit more splash. So I've had a low health kill and two splashes. And what we're doing, we're coming up to... Oh, hang on. See what I mean? Queue up a shot. Yeah, kill. Plenty of damage done. So how many pen tickets am I on? Is it six? I'm going to hit one more shot in this game. And that's going to be 8,000 damage done. Here it is coming up. Watch this. Mouse. I've got his side. And he's turning. I let it go. Hit the back of the turret. 1,900 damage. And that was my last round of the game, fellas. Three minutes. Not even the whole three minutes of action. And just under 8 thousand damage and for me that is why these tanks are so OP it's because you, I'm gonna say it you need to be less skilled to do well in them well so check this out times two for the day three kills 7902 damage with my seven hits some of those were some low splashes as well and if this game had gone on a little bit longer this could have been a monster so there we go 8000 damage three minutes Death Star is just not overpowered in the slightest, is it, fellas? Can you uh, tell I'm being sarcastic? Anyway, cheers, guys. Sorry, it's a quick video today. A bit short of time. And I'll uh, catch you on the next one. See you later.